Hello, and welcome to Cooking for Chihuahuas. My name is Michael, and tonight I'm going to be cooking for Freddy, the Chihuahua, who is down here waiting very patiently. You'll see him going into his sit stance, which he does very readily when he's hungry. Uh, so he'll be waiting there for a moment, and we will come over here and look at the ingredients you'll need to assemble. To feed a dog healthily, you need to have a very mixed diet, and we like to use whole grains, some fresh vegetables or fruit, and some source of protein, like fresh meat, uh, which we usually use raw. Uh, this is the meat we have right now, and as you can see, it's frozen solid, so I would not be able to cut it with my kitchen shears. So, in lieu of frozen beef, tonight Freddy is going to have tuna fish as his protein source. He's going to have brown rice mixed with millet for his whole grain and some fresh baby carrots and other sundry items that I'll put in later. So, the way you start making this delectable feast for your chihuahua is to get a small chihuahua-sized bowl and place just maybe a teaspoon of whole grain in it, like that. You don't want to give your dog too much whole grain because their digestive systems can't handle this and it will make them poop a lot. Uh, the next step is to prepare the carrots and uh, this part may be unsavory for some of our viewers but I'm going to prepare it in an unorthodox way, at least for humans, because uh, Carrots are hard for the dog's digestive system also to digest, and so we have to pre-digest them a bit for him. So I'm going to do that right now. Mm. I get a little for myself too, and I'm sorry if I've offended any viewers, but you see we have semi-digested carrot now for Freddy, and if you show Freddy, you can see how excited he is uh, awaiting his food. My next step is to put the protein source in and because meat makes up most of a dog's diet in the wild, I let it make up most of my dog's diet here at home too. So I'm putting in lots of this delicious canned tuna now normally I like to give my dog raw meat, but as I told you, that's not available tonight, so we're making do with canned tuna. And uh, I'm going to pour a little bit of sesame oil on top of this, which uh, keeps his fur shiny. And uh, a healthy step, which I do maybe a few times a week, is to crush up a garlic clove and put it in there because it has all kinds of antibacterial properties and otherwise contributes to the health of your dog. This dog doesn't love garlic too much, so uh, we have to hide it as well as we can for him to eat it. Um, so anyway, it's ready now, and as you can see, Freddy is ready. And so we're going to put it down, but we'll make him earn his dinner. So Freddy, wait. Okay. He's such a good dog and now he's getting such a good balanced dinner. Thanks for watching Cooking with Chihuahuas. My name is Michael, and tonight I'm going to be cooking for Freddy.